All right, guys, so bear with me because clearly I need a haircut. I still haven't taken down the Christmas decorations. It's a new year, but it's not a new me yet. Today's video is actually inspired by a fellow acne content creator, my girl Sonia Anastasia. She made this exact same video, but with different products than I'm going to talk about. So these are the products that you do not need to use going into 2022 because so many products are completely useless, don't actually give you results, and all they do is just drain your wallet. So my main goal with this video is to get you to stop wasting money on products that don't need to be used. Let's get into this. Okay, first on my list, let's go with one that's super obvious that I'm sure you're gonna agree with me on. Mechanical exfoliators. So actual like St. Ives scrub, you know, the apricot scrub, or any sort of scrub that has hard crystalline structure, rocks in it, sugar, any of that kind of stuff where the idea is that it's rough and so you're, you're scraping it against your skin as a way of exfoliation. We've known this for many years now, but chemical exfoliation works really, really well without the risk of the side effects that you get from mechanical exfoliation and when you are scraping yourself with those little crystalline scrubs, you're actually causing a lot of damage, and especially in those uh, in those hard scrapes that you pull in a certain direction, you'll create these scoop lines, and a lot of people will end up with these lines. They're not good. I don't know why they still exist. I guess people are just familiar with them, but stay away from those. Use a chemical exfoliant like a, an alpha hydroxy acid, like, uh, like salicylic acid or glycolic acid. It's going to work way better. Okay, now number two, I'm going to assume that a good portion of you don't use this because you are watching a channel about skincare and acne, but I just saw this at this Airbnb that I'm using. It's in the shower and it is an all-in-one body and facial cleanser. So the idea is that you're supposed to use this for your armpits, your, your chest, your butt, and then also your face. And if you are a skincare person, or maybe you're not, let me just tell you that there are not the same requirements for body soap as there is facial soap, especially because you have a ton of pores on your face that are very, very likely to be plugged or uh, clogged when you're using comedogenic ingredients, which a lot of times with body washes and stuff, they don't have to worry about that because a lot of people do not break out very heavily on their body. So please, if possible, get a soap for your body and a cleanser for your face. Don't mix and match. It's not saving you any money. It's not good. Okay, third up, this is actually really interesting. And I bet if you've been looking in the skincare community, you've probably seen this product and considered it because it is actually pretty interesting. It is the do it yourself at home derma pen. Now I'm not talking about derma stamps or derma rollers. I'm talking about the professional treatment pen. The one that basically looks like a tattoo pen it's vibrating and it's shooting needles into your face very quickly. It's it's going right. And you usually will go to a professional and you'll go to a treatment center. They'll do it. They'll administer it. They have a certain way of doing it vertical, horizontal, and then uh, what's that called? Di diagonal. <laughs> But they know exactly what they're doing. They're trained for it. They know the depth that they're penetrating your face and they'll change that based on your skin type as well as your sensitivity level. They know the way to administer it, how fast to go. They know the right procedures to keep your face from getting infected, what you should do for aftercare, all that kind of stuff all plays a part into this. And what I'm seeing a lot with these at-home Dermapen treatments is that people are administering it incorrectly. And I've seen a couple of videos where people are showing bad side effects where they have these streaks or these lines on their face because they went too hard and they were pulling across their face. I actually saw Hiram uh, talk about this in one of his recent videos where he he was very not happy about watching people administer Dermapen because they were dragging across their face. Very even way. The thing with her, the way she's applying it across their face is that she's dragging it. And I don't know. I don't know, guys. Like I've seen some companies advertise that you should drag it across your skin, but I do not see the benefit when you have those needles rapidly puncturing your skin. Like I just see it open for a lot of risk and excess wounds within your skin. So I real I Okay, I just want to add a little note that dermapens are super effective if you do have acne scarring. So don't take it off your list. Just go to somewhere professional or if you're going to do an at-home treatment, use a derma stamp. That way, you know for sure you are not damaging your face. You're going straight in and straight out. All right, now number 4 out of 5 and I'm saving the best for last. So stick around. Number 4 is coconut oil. So you probably know this by now, but if you don't already, coconut oil, a lot of people use it for moisturizer. A lot of people swear by it, it makes them feel really good. It smells nice. Coconut oil is pretty cool, but 
The pores on your face do not cooperate with comedogenic or pore clogging ingredients and coconut oil is exactly that. It's a saturated fat, so that means at room temperature, it is solid or colder than room temperature, it's solid, but then above room temperature, it will liquefy. So when you are applying it to your face, no problem. It's like it gets very liquidy, it, it, it's easy to rub on and stuff, but then once your face cools down, if it's nighttime or you live somewhere where it's cool, that oil thickens, hardens up just like it does in the jar, but on your face. And if you are prone to having pimples because your pores are getting clogged, you're putting just a bunch, basically like candle wax on your face. It's going to cause you acne. And I don't know why people still recommend this as a moisturizer for your face, but it's not a good one. If you're gonna use it, just use it for your body. But even then, just get a better moisturizer. All right, now number five. I feel like this is probably the best one to avoid. I probably should put this number one, but I wanted to make you wait. Number five is anything that claims to be a pore shrinker, something that can tighten or close or make your pores smaller. There is no such thing. It's been proven by science. Now, when you hear someone say that they felt like their face really tightened up, they could feel their pores get smaller, that usually means that they dried their face really heavily. So something like an Aztec clay mask or, or a toner, something like that, they feel the dryness of their face, which makes them feel like their pores have gotten really small. Or people will say, you know, use cold water, things like that. But all that you can do is contract and uncontract your pores basically. So like when, you're, when your face does get cold, your pores do kind of squeeze tight, but that doesn't actually change the size of them. There's no way to permanently change the size of them. So you can't just do a, a, a regimen of a product for a month and then your, your pores will be half the size. It doesn't happen. All that happens is they get smaller and then they come right back, they get smaller. It's, it happens all throughout the day. I actually have a huge problem with these products because you know, a lot of people say like, I have really big pores. I get close to my face. I can see how big my pores are. And because I have big pores, I get big pimples. I get big blackheads, I get big cysts. And so these products, you know, smartly, but maliciously are preying on people who really want to get rid of this insecurity that they have with the having big pores. And so they're like, that's what this product does. I'm going to buy it again. I'm just telling you right now, you're wasting money on things like that because there's no way to shrink your pores. I actually have a video where I went super into detail on all the products that claim to shrink your pores. If you want to check that out, I will link it in the description below, but stay away from these. I think they're pointless. So there you have it. Sexy, beautiful people. I hope this video was able to inform you so that you don't waste your money on products that don't work. That being said, if you are looking for products that do work, the skincare brand that I actually use every single day, it's called Banish. Their whole skincare line is formulated to help people with acne scarring, skin texture, and mild to moderate acne. It's helped me a ton from before to after acne scars. And at this point, I severely have much, much, much less uh, scarring, just mild acne scarring right here on my cheeks that I'm still working on. If you want to use that, uh, Brian Fox, all cast Brian five get you five dollars off your order I will put a link to that in the description below and now I want to ask you guys what other products do you think are a waste of money a waste of time and we should all avoid in 2022 put them in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not subscribed already I really appreciate that and remember you are not alone you are beautiful and you are part of team acne I'll see you skin bosses in the next video peace